The rapidly spreading coronavirus has infected 90,000 people worldwide, stoked fears about the pandemic, and rattled global markets. However, the outbreak is also having an unexpected environmental effect. It is drastically cutting carbon emissions, according to NASA and the European Space Agency. Um, so right now we're seeing um, drops in both carbon emissions as well as nitrogen dioxide. Carbon emissions are down by about 25 percent. Nitrogen dioxide is down by about 30 uh, percent. That drop translates to a 6 percent decline in overall global emissions. With travel restrictions, factory shutdowns and tepid consumer demand for products, China's use of fossil fuels has plummeted and coal use is at a four-year low. Three biggest contributors to these emissions are um, power production, so electrical, electricity production from burning fossil fuels, um, passenger vehicles, so people getting in their cars and driving, and uh, industrial manufacturing. So all three of these uh, have been scaled back during, during this crisis. The three-week decline is roughly equal to the amount of carbon dioxide that major American states, such as New York, put out in a full year. Many fear the dip in pollution is temporary. So when we see a slowdown in economic activity due to this virus outbreak, we see a massive drop in all of these emissions. Um, and so you might also expect that the inverse is also true, that as the outbreak um, gets more under control and economic activity uh, continues to, um, comes back up, uh, we'll see these emissions rise again. China is the leading emitter of greenhouse gas emissions in the world, having surpassed the United States in 2005.